feel me? Then I heard Coco say some slick ass shit like, yeah, record that bitch for them views so she could get views for her channel. So I was like, yo, this bitch Coco is starting shit like a thousand dollars, okay? To be on this show. And to be honest, I know a lot of y'all probably like a thousand dollars. Why would you pay? Bitch, it comes with a lot. You know, bitch, you be riding, doing all this for a little minute, okay? This episode, my favorite is starting to change and it's becoming Blossom. Like, I love that Blossom is just a real ass bitch. And she, are you scared to work or what? Because y'all about to be on y'all way to go get the money. And all of a sudden, you talking about you about to go home. You ain't even had no drama. Like, what the fuck you going home for? Leaving me lonely. Now I'm sitting here stuck like a... channel it's your girl diamond dust slayer and i'm back with another video for your first time over there upon our channel y'all i'm your girl diamond the slayer and i do a lot of fun 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 things over here on this channel okay i do unsigned critic where your girl goes over all the latest hip-hop r&b on don reggae music yes because your girl diamond is a whole jamaican out here okay I do influencer vlogs when I pull up on all the influencers, them, all the events and pop-up shops, whatever you name it. And I put y'all on to what's going on behind the scenes and all that good, good stuff. I do interviews, okay? I be interviewing artists, producers, anything, you name it. You doing something with your life that you believe in from young to no, I am interviewing you, okay? And I also do Faye Garrett ATL when I go all the Canal Street in New York City. I go to all the flea markets in Atlanta. I put y'all onto all the Fendi, Gucci, Louis Prada, all that fake shit for the low. You feel me? Period. I do all that on this channel. So this is a new segment that I'm starting on this channel. <laughs> Title, Let's Chat with Diamond the Slayer right now. And in this little episode premiere um vibe we are going over this reality show title stripper boot camp okay episode four i believe was just uploaded tonight and we are going to review that episode tonight on my episode and y'all already know that because you clicked the link period so let's get into it <laughs> so yeah time let's get into this episode so soon as the episode started i can see brie coco and cakes going at it like back and forth arguing like brie on some shit like um y'all need to run these laps and coco cakes is i think cakes is blaming like her legs her legs ain't right coco got excuses like they they just got mad excuses as to why they don't want to run these laps and all of a sudden i see brie just start pacing like <laughs> So I already knew Brie was tight because I'm like, oh, this bitch, y'all not running these laps and this bitch is mad because the old Brie would really want to try to slap a bitch right now, but she trying to run it off. You feel me? Then I heard Coco say some slick ass shit like, yeah, record that bitch for them views so she could get views for her channel. So I was like, yo, this bitch Coco is starting shit like she for real. When I first, like I told y'all the first episode, she was giving me the vibe like a fake like girl power da, da, da. but then as the show started to go on i'm like yo coco all right you feel me i felt like the camera person was paying more attention to like trouble or rizza so we wasn't really seeing like what the, the bullshit we see everything that rizza and trouble talk we see all the shit they pop but we don't get to see all the shit that cakes and fucking coco be popping and i feel like that's a problem like i feel like I wish we get to see that more. Like, I want to see trouble in that popping shit. And then I want to see this side popping these shit too. So we could get, you know, both sides of the story. Both sides of the spectrum. Everybody's from different areas, different places. We look at shit different. Like, let's see this person's point of view. But anyway. 
Once I see Coco popping it off like that, I was like, oh, okay, this is the Coco we kind of thought was there anyway, like it's there. So basically, Brie is running. She's mad because she like, bitch, this is my boot camp, first of all. If I tell you it's a boot camp, like y'all paid to be here, like that's just on some real shit. Like y'all actually pay, I'm hearing they pay like almost a thousand dollars, a thousand dollars okay to be on this show and to be honest i know a lot of y'all probably like a thousand dollars why would you pay bitch it comes with a lot she out of her airbnb she's giving y'all food y'all coming to the club y'all gotta get a permit to be there like y'all gotta it's a production thing it's a marketing thing like it's a lot that comes with it so i'm like all right a thousand dollars as you get older in life you realize like a thousand dollars really ain't shit you feel me a lot of y'all if y'all was living right like the right way the okay way you're supposed to be making a thousand dollars at least a week you feel me like for real so let's get with the program so they paid to be there so i felt what brie was coming from when she was like yo why are you mad that you gotta run and this is a boot camp that you paid to be a part of like and at the end of the day bitches like cakes Y'all bitches, Coco too, like, y'all kind of thick as fuck, like, y'all gotta know, like, y'all never, I don't know if y'all, how long y'all been dancing, Cakes ain't been dancing like that long, but Coco, you been dancing, you know, bitch, you be riding, doing all this for a little minute, okay, virgin, new to the ting, uh, green to the thing and all of that, like, my nigga, your knees get mighty weak really quickly, and y'all bitches need to work out, like, that's just the real tea. So, if this is a boot camp that you signed up for, you paid over $1,000 to be there, bitch, you need to work out. But, the problem is, a lot of y'all, like, Brie is a host. Like, in this episode, I seen Brie trying to have composure. I seen her trying to be a real host. Okay? Like, I feel like the other episode, she was being kind of mixy, trying to, like find drama that wasn't there like you know what i'm saying messing with the smokers and all of that like because i'm a smoker you feel me but in this episode i feel like brie was really trying to be a host and i feel like sometimes bitches think like you and them is on the same level when it's just like bitch no i'm not you're on my shit you feel me so i feel brie on that shit and i like how she played it off i'm glad brie did not argue with old brie old brie would argue with her down and it would have got real escalated and shit. Boom, 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 boom. Period. Enough. After that happened or whatever, the girls, like I keep saying, we keep seeing Trouble, Rizza, the hairstylist, and Brie. Like, we keep seeing their point of view. And it's like, I feel like the camera person should be running up on everybody. Like, just like the part when she was trying to see everybody outfit before they got ready for the club. You know, Brie gave everybody their outfits, they dancer bags. Ooh, excuse me. Get them. Let me drink my drink. Oh, so today, I made myself today a mango and pineapple smoothie. You feel me? But while I was actually watching the episode, I kind of drunk it. So now it's just like a nice little ginger y'all know i'm jamaican <laughs> always gonna have the island thing i go on so a little mango ginger a little vodka mix going on right here right now you feel me so yeah but like i was saying when brie what i was talking about when brie gave them the dancing bags and she gave them the outfits yeah just like the video the part when the video girl was trying to you know Talk to everybody like, oh, what you wearing at the club tonight? What's your money go? Thank you. Like, finally, this is like episode four. I've been waiting for money counts, like seeing these bitches and they elements. See who's really coming home with the bag. Like, to me, that's a part of stripper boot camp that I know we all are waiting for, okay? So, when she went up to, like, Coco and was like, she went up to Coco and was like, yeah, um... What's your goal tonight? And Coco was like, oh, whatever God gives me, like, whatever the universe blows my way. Like, she was just like, Coco was just answering her, like, very fast. She was answering it confident. But, like, bitch, I don't want to talk to you type shit. You feel me? So, just like she was going, forcing her energy into Coco's space that moment, I feel like she should be doing that all the time. Like, once Coco said that violated shit when she told Brie, like, yo, 
yeah, when she told you the recording lady, like, yo, yeah, record her so she could get them views for her channel. Da, da, da. I bet you should have went in the car and got them. I want to see the shit that Coco and Cakes is talking because they in there talking wild shit. But because we are only getting to see trouble and Riz is talking shit, like, at first it was kind of making it look like, you know, maybe Riza and Trouble was a little troublemakers. You know what I'm saying? But as I watched this episode, I'm like, damn, we can't even see what the fuck these other bitches talking about. You feel me? So, as we get into the um, episode, you know, Brie gave them some little outfits. I, I like that or whatever. Um, I like when they show, what's her name? Karma. And, you know, I feel like she, the video lady, she always goes to Karma because Karma is cool. You know Karma going to give you what you need. She ain't going to be mad. She not going to be like on that Coco shit. You feel me? So, she go to Karma and Karma, she's like, what you wearing? Karma got like four outfits. I'm like, <laughs> might be wearing this, might be wearing this, might be wearing that. Da, 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 da. Oh, before I even get to that, this episode, my favorite is starting to change and it's becoming Blossom. Like... I love that Blossom is just a real ass bitch and she is not about to be fake for nobody. She's not about to go home for nobody. Sh um, shading the girl that tried to go home today. Like, bitch, you not even in the beef, but you trying to run home for what? You feel me? That was off. Like, when I heard Brie like outside waiting for somebody to go home, I'm like, who the fuck go home? And she, like, bitch, what the fuck you want? I was shocked when I seen who it was. But Blossom, when Blossom sat at that table and she basically said her, how she felt because she's listening to Reza and Trouble and them talk shit this whole fucking time, you know, Blossom was some shit like, yo, my nigga, like, when Bree said what she said, first of all, I don't think she said it the most nicest, you feel me? And not only that, bitch, I thought she was talking to me too. Like, I was running, but I wasn't... <sighs> fucking sprinting out this bitch you feel me so when i heard brie say what she said i assumed she was talking to me but at the end of the day you gotta realize we are all different people and we don't take disrespect lightly you get what i'm saying so blossom on some shit like yo i feel like they probably was acting funny because of the way brie even said it like the way brie is talking to niggas you feel me so the fact that blossom was able to sit around that table and say how she really felt. And these bitches fall a lot accordingly. They have to start asking her questions. So, so how do you feel about da 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 It just made me feel like, yes, Blossom, speak your truth. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, like I said, sometimes the old Brie will fucking pop out. And at the end of the day, bitches be on bitches' dicks 24-7. So we cannot ignore the fact that Brie is not fully changed. Like she's not fully like Oprah. She's not fully there yet. Like she's still a little ratchet, a little ghetto, still in the clubs. Like let's be real. She probably is not always the nicest. Hello, y'all already feel like she got favorites. So let's just be real. You feel me? So the fact that Blossom came out. And spoke her piece respectfully. She ain't curse no bitches out. She just saw how she felt with keeping herself out of it. You know what I'm saying? I was like, you know what? I fucked with Blossom. Period. Point blank. Even when they went up to Blossom and she was asking Blossom about her goals for the night and what she gonna wear. And she was just like, yo, I'm here for positivity. Like, it's gonna be a good night. I'm gonna just pick one of these outfits. It's gonna be cool. Like if y'all came over here to hear some negative ass shit, bitch, I'm a positive girl. Like this, this is not what y'all getting. Like I'm not falling into y'all aura. You feel me? And I can respect a bitch like that. I can respect a bitch like that. Negativity, no matter what the fuck is going around, bitch, I'm paying attention to me. Period. So that girl. What was her name? Like, I was, I liked her a little bit. You feel me? But until this episode, it's like, girl, are you scared to work or what? Because y'all about to be on y'all way to go get the money. And all of a sudden, you talking about you about to go home. You ain't even in no drama. Like, what the fuck you going home for? Threw me off. But Brie came around in that episode and that aura of it and... She turned into boss mode. It came, got brought her back into her element. She came into boss mode. And Brie was like, 
you know, her famous line, I'm not going to beg you to stay, but I don't want you to go. <laughs> Brie never begging nobody to stay, but she never wants you to go, bitch, because, bitch, we need that content, period. So, she, I like that Brie was able to talk her into staying, but it's like, bitch, why was you leaving in the first place? Like, you not even in a drama. Take some, like, leads from Blossom and just Blossom, boo. Like, you're doing too much, period. That's just how I feel about that. You hear me? <laughs> Facts. I ain't gonna lie, like, this season, like, I'm really just waiting for the girls to get to the club and make some money. Oh, that was another thing. Like, hearing these girls' goals, <laughs> it was like 500, 600, 700. I'm like, come on, y'all gonna be at like, I ain't been in Rufus in, like, years. And to be honest, like, you know, niggas ain't no Brie or no big-ass, you know, influencer dance or nothing like that. But come on. $600, $700, like, that is a lot of money for one night. And if you could do that in Rufus on your first night of stripping on a Tuesday, bitch, toodles to you. I was like, y'all bitches got, that's why I fuck with trouble. Y'all see trouble, she, you could tell she go to rumors and she's realistic because she was like five, six hundred. She was like, but at least three. Thank you. Like, let's be realistic. Like, 300. You know what I'm saying? Like, was y'all not watching other stripper boot camps? They all was trapping out of rumors. Like, ain't shit changed. Like, let's be real. You know what I'm saying? But, Let's talk about the the hairstylist girl or whatever, because y'all know I was representing for her this season. It was just so funny to me when Brie was like, before Brie even said anything, she was like, she keep advertising like, oh, I'm doing trouble in Rizzo's hair, and everybody's like going in one ear and up the other, like nobody's paying no attention. I keep seeing her, I keep hearing her say that, and then after I heard Brie was like, oh, if y'all need y'all hair done. After they got their bags and they dance the bags, they know what time they gotta be ready, all that. Bree's like, yo, after y'all get y'all hair done, you know, after y'all get ready, y'all know such and such is here to do y'all hair. Da, da, da. She was like, yeah, anybody that needs me, let me know. Bitch, it was crickets. Ain't nobody need her. And I know they wanna talk shit like, oh, these bitches don't wanna pay to do their hair, but they really don't. And that's why I fuck with Blossom, because Blossom know, like, bitch, I'm not trying to pay you right now. Like, my shit is still late. But instead of looking like a lame ass bitch that's gonna sit there and be like, bitch, no, I'm not paying you. Blossom said, I'll I'll use you in a few days. <laughs> I'll fuck with that. I was like, yo. Blossom said, I'll use you in a few days. You feel me? Period. Oh, and before that, um, they was in the car driving and trouble was saying something, and she was like, Yeah. Don't worry, because when we get back to the house, I got to do your hair. I'm going to take your wig off, wash it, pl repluck it, do all this shit. Yo, Trouble was calculating all the numbers in her head. Like, wait, what? Take it off, wash it, repluck. What? Trouble said, oh, no, 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 listen. We going to leave this right here on his head. You just going to fix it up a little bit. I was, she was like, you going to put that head thing on, that elastic band, and we going to let it run. Girl, I was cracking up. Uh, this shit was too funny, bitch. She was like, Trouble was like, wait, wait, wait. Who doing all of that? Hey, bitch, ain't no. You can tell this bitch came to ready to do some hair and none of these bitches ain't trying to. Like, come on. But let's get them at least two, three days. Two nights at the, at least two nights at the club with their hair they came with. And let's see, like, if they gonna, you know, invest some of that money back into their looks. So I'm sure that's what Brie is looking for. But at the end of the day, yeah, they just got there. Calm down. I know it's episode four. Even I'm like, when is these bitches getting to the club? But calm down. Let them get to the club. Sweat out these little dudes or whatever. Make a little money. You see they making six, seven hundred dollars a night. Then maybe they want to pay you to do something to their hair. You know what I mean? So that was just funny to me how she was just like ready like, who who's ready to do their hair? Like nobody was just trouble and risk, and that's just because they feel like they have to trust me. Like it's just because they feel like, well, trouble. Her hair could do some nice TLC, but Rizza, her hair, she do a little brush, a little fly iron, should be straight. So I feel like they was like booking her so early because they felt like, oh, that's our bitch. That's all she talk about all day. So we gotta book her like we got no choice. 
Them other bitches like, bitch, I don't fucking need to book you right now. My like, shit is good. I just got here. Like, give me a break. Give me a break. So, yeah. That was funny to me. But this episode was like, you know, I'll give it entertaining. You know, a little drama here and there. The girls is beefing. Coco show her real true truck. Bitch, record that bitch so she get her views. That's all she had to say to show her true colors. And you seen how Brie in this episode... She said, Brie said, oh, I'm just going to talk to Coco, make sure she good. Because Brie having to talk this bitch off the ledge who ain't even have shit to do with shit. Brie realized, like, you know what? I am a host at the end of the day. These girls are here to learn from me. Like, I can't fall into the trap. So, at the end of the day, I have to talk to Coco. I have to talk to Hayes. You feel me? So, they can understand. Like, I can't be on this little girl, kitty, kitty, ha, ha. Bitch, I want to fight type shit because you ain't listening. At the end of the day, bitch, I got to let you know what's real or you got to go. Like, let's, we, I'm grown. That's my shit. You feel me? But seeing how she ended this episode, how Brie hopped up. First of all, body language to me is everything. Brie, you said you're going to be a boss. You're going to call Coco out here. And mind you, I'm saying this before the episode even airs. You say you're going to be a boss. You're going to call Coco out here. And you was going to see what's up. Da, 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 da. You feel me? That's what I heard. You was a boss. You called Coco out there. Then you jump up on a car. To me, I'm from New York. Like, body language is everything. Like, you hop up on a car like, all right, cool. I seen Coco body language too. Like, bitch, she linked up on the, the, um, the mirror. Like, and I see her face already. And then Bree. The first thing you say is basically you want her to talk. Oh, so what happened? Like, you want her to speak. No, 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 no. You're the boss. You call her out here because you're supposed to be proving to us that you're some boss. And you're elevating and you're being mature. First of all, you stand up and you talk to her. That's first thing. And secondly, you speak first. Like, ain't no, I call you out. Oh. So what your problem was like, no, bitch, what the fuck you call me out here for? Because to me, I see already negative energy about to happen. Like, I don't see no kumbaya moment off of body language and like real shit. But I don't know. We'll see how this whole conversation turns around. Bree did talk shorty off the ledge from not going home. She ain't going home no more. <laughs> ain't going home, girl. What the fuck was you was going home because the other people beef? Like, you can't here to make money. You pay, like Bree said, like, you paid to be here. Y'all all paid to be here. Like, I can see Coco and them just being bitches that don't like to be told what to do because that could be me sometimes. Like, I just don't like bitches. Certain people, type of people telling me what to do. That's why I said Bree being kind of like they feel like she on a level is why they feel like they didn't got to listen to run. And that's why you got to know how to be that boss. Well, even if we are the same age group or whatever, bitch, I'm a boss. And you're going to respect that shit. Period. And that's just something Brie got to work on. And that's just a fact of it. But this bitch trying to go home with nothing. Like, you ain't even... You ain't even... In a, you ain't even bringing the ratings... You ain't even bringing the ratings up or nothing. So you're like, oh, this bitch is using me for clout. None of that. You ain't done nothing. <laughs> you ain't even go to work and make some money. Some people like, that's the bitch that make all the money. Make nothing. And you ready to go home. So I was liking her a little bit until she did that. I was just like, some weak ass shit. Period. That was weak. Blossom, you blossomed to me this episode. Like, I was like, you know what, Blossom? I'm fuck with you. And I hope you make a lot of money out of rumors. I feel like you would. Your personality is very independent. Very, I already know. Psh, yeah. I like that. Coco and Cakes. Y'all cool to me. But to excel and be good in a certain environment, you got to be positive. You got to be a boss. You can't let negativity just weigh on you. And I feel like y'all giving me that, like, negativity going it's like trouble in them they kind of messy and negative but they still fun <laughs> we get to see these bitches laugh and be in their element so it's like they not gonna let negativity stop shit and that's the goal that's what it is that's what Bree trying to teach y'all 
you know, y'all gonna let negative shit ruin your, your whole vibe, your energy. You probably go in the club, don't even want to talk to niggas. That's what you lose. You know what I'm saying? Um, Karma, you seem like you cool. You chill to me. Like, I like that. And I feel like that's what you need to be. So I'm curious to watch the rest of these episodes and see who gonna do what it do. Who ain't gonna make no money. You know what I'm saying? I'm curious to see who gonna make all the money. Like, who gonna make a lot of money? And I feel like it's giving, like, real talk. I'm thinking Blossom. I'm thinking Karma. I'm thinking Trouble because she trouble and people already know her. Um, I'm thinking, really, I think that's who's probably gonna make the money. Blossom, Trouble, Karma. Because Karma seems like she a little quiet, but she gonna ooh, 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 sneak her way. She a little slim, but it don't matter. <laughs> As it's getting better, like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like personality is a win in this. And we gonna see y'all. Leave in the comments who y'all like, who y'all fucking with. If y'all agree with Dominus Slayer, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. <laughs> tell a friend, tell a friend about my channel. Y'all understand? And yeah, y'all tune in next time. Y'all know we gonna go over the next episode. <laughs> Period. Later, guys.